Here's our bar warm up. They come over, they must be in a hollow while they get their grips on. Alright? So they hold a hollow the entire time they get their grips on. Okay? You want to see them get their grips on quick? Yeah, okay. okay? So the first thing you do, so they come over and, and they boom in a hollow and they put their grips on. Okay? Um, then they have 30 second handstand in each grip on the floor bar with a partner. Okay? Or they'll go against the bar if I have an odd number. I prefer them with a partner so they can help them find balance. Then we do a full routine. That's our warm-up. Okay. Then we get into the, the rest of the workout. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, for our, our level six through level ten, that, that's what we do. Um, my level fours are not allowed to use chalk from the bucket. Okay. They can use the chalk from the floor. Because God knows nothing. Right. <laughs> Take them to their very first meet. So these are like little five and six year olds. Take them to their first meet. And they're all standing there and, you know, Coach Tony, can we get chalk? Yeah, yeah, it's your pocket. And they're looking on the floor. Of course, you know, they just you know, they just break the convention center talking. They're like, oh, there is isn't any. And the meat director standing right there looking at this huge tub of chalk. And he's like, there's a whole bunch. And he goes, oh, Coach Tony doesn't let us chalk up from the bucket. That's a big loss. And he chalk and throws it on the floor. And he wants his little puppy. <laughs> So, um, so, so it's important to have established, established rules. And every one of my, <coughs> if my warm-up is essentially the same for all levels. So my developmental kids, that my, my level fours that are five and six years old, okay, um, do, you, do you understand what the level fours do, what, what their routine is? You probably should just tell them. Okay, the level four routine is glide swing. It actually might be on it. Glide swing, pull over. Front hip circle. Yeah. Um, I was on the JO committee, so I actually wrote the bar routine for the U.S., so you're not allowed to complain about it. Okay. Um, so uh, our, our, the level four routine is in that is in the handout, um, so you can see like what their expectations. But the hardest thing they have to do in the routine is a front hip circle. Okay. Um, but th those so those kids can look and, and and see that even the bigger kids, every other kid, even our level tens, they do a similar warm up. On every event. So that, that way they, they see that it's progressive. Any questions on the floor bar stuff that we just did? Alright, we're going to move over here to bars. Um, can I see your uh, headband? Or it's like elastic. Okay. It has to go from, from long to short in order to make things work. Okay. If she doesn't stretch her glide all the way, it doesn't go very far. Okay. But if she really stretches her glide, Okay. <laughs> okay. Good catch. If, if, if she really stretches her glide, you can see, um, her kit will come back up on top of the bar and be easier to catch. So have the kids make sure that they stretch their glide. Whenever I do a clinic, the first thing that I have, the first thing that I want to watch is glide catch. Because I can tell you, if a kid doesn't get their extension in their glide, they're probably not stretching down enough between the bars when they're giant. Um, getting off track again, um, but I wanted to tell you. Mechanically, where you perceive an error, where you see the error happening, okay, by the time you perceive it, the error occurred about halfway before, halfway through the skin. Uh, the easiest example is you watch somebody, do a you watch somebody that comes over top of their bar and they're giant. Like that. Okay? You can yell at the kid all you want, hollow, hollow, hollow. That's not going to help her. Okay? If she did that, what I know happened is that she didn't hold herself open long enough underneath the bar to pass. So by the time you perceive the error up there, 180 degrees away is where the error actually occurred. So with your eye, you can think of that. Okay? And that pretty much works the same on any event. If you see somebody really crunch in, in their Uchenko. They, the, they hit the ball table and their arms are pretty crunched in. Okay, you can probably go back and bet that their arms were really crunched in their round off. Okay, that their hands were down there. So look, look at your skills with, with your coach's eye and go, hey look, I see this error where it occurred was before that. Back. Slide out. Jam through. Okay. The thing is, 
uh, and I'll do this in my rec lecture later, okay? It's probably easier than a polo flip. So with your kids that can't kip, teach them this, okay? No mill circle. And then we go right to the front. And then we go right into the mill circle. We'll talk and step. All right? You have those two skills. What I love about the mill circle, it's an undergrip skill. Their hands are, their hands are under. Okay? This is a lead up for a front stall, for an end up. Okay? If they can't do this, they can't end up. Right? If they can't do this, they probably can't front giant because they don't understand how to shift their hands. Right? So we'll do single leg jam. Come on down. We'll do another single leg jam. And I'm going to do this. Oh. Okay. Single leg jam. So, great trick, great drill to have when you develop mental tips. Okay. So we'll do a series of drop kits, two or three in a row. Always make the kids come down forwards after the skill. We're talking again with developmental kits. They're always afraid to lean over the bar enough to cast. So from the very beginning, you have them leaning over the bar, they get comfortable with that. Remember the double leg here? And then we'll go into the double leg. Does anybody, hang on, does anybody on this you guys also have a drop kit? And then we'll go double leg jam. I just inhaled so much chalk. <laughs> okay. So I thought it was about 45 minutes ago. The double leg jam. What we want to see is this compression. You're also going to see that compression in the stall. So you'll see that, but if, let me know if you're this time. But here, it's easier for that. Okay, and you jump on the bar. Okay, and they can cheat it by bringing their leg up on the bar. Like that. So they start to understand. No, they all get I don't know, they don't know how to pull over. So you have to double leg jam up. So, um, try to feel that compression underneath the bar. So she's going to try a back seat circle. Right, I think you just switched your grip a little early. That was fantastic. It's the second one she's ever done. So that was pretty good. So uh, if you guys saw that, I don't want to have you do another one. Step on my hands. Go ahead, move your stuff. Stand up. Lean forward. Okay, that's how you want. Okay. So she's going to be in this position here, and then the hips are going to rise up. Step up. Okay. Obviously, this you have to, you have to do that seat circle as a lead up for a staller, okay? You can't really do an in-bar staller, an inward staller, okay, without being able to do that. You guys all right? Bar a little rough on your legs. Um, I'm okay this way. What I want you to do is try to pike your feet through. Good, Good. And just, all right? So you want to try to, so for an inward staller, they have to be able to do that. Stand up and do it again. Can you guys see that okay? Back there. Right. So from here, she's got to pipe through and drop back. Right. Now, what shape is she in? The same shape as we were in right there. Okay. So think about um, if uh, I took Kirsten okay, when she was six years old, if she understood how to do these seat circles. Okay. And this was just a fun thing for her because it's different. She gets to go over there and just spin around the bar and do some seat circles. Okay. By the time I get her to come up a little higher, and I go, okay, now you're going to go to handstand, and you're going to pipe through, and we're going to go back up to handstand. She goes, oh, cool. Okay. She doesn't know that it's a B. Okay. She just knows it's a cool thing and that Nasty did it. Okay. So can you understand, you, you see the progression from, from something very small with your kids, that you build that up. Okay. Any questions?
So all I want, this is again, you're talking with, your, with like five and six year olds. Okay, just lean back into my arms. And we're gonna do it, oh, we're gonna do a straight body back hip circle. So from here, we shift your grip. All right, ready? Slow. All right, so that's our first step. Right? They're learning how to keep their body straight and tight. Oh, she remembered to keep up. Okay, so you're going to do three in a row, so they're going to get a little bit bigger. Ready? No, no, you don't get to pass. Don't punch. You see how it starts to come off the bar? Okay. We have in a level four routine. We have an undershoot dismount. No. Just lean back. <laughs> okay. It's pretty pretty simple. Okay. So for me, I can you know it, 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 it makes a progression. Everybody can use it. Another drill that I do. Don't have. Pretend this is a Pilates ball. It goes right under the butt. Oh. It, goes, it goes right here. They, they sit on it. I, you're holding yeah. And, and, and they'll just rock back and forth on the ball. Um, I, it, the ball is just over by the, by the boy parallel bars because it goes as low and they can hold it onto it. It's one of those things that everybody does. Everybody will do that drill. Okay? Um, in that, that level four, that five, six-year-old, no teeth kind of group. Um, they, I have 12 kids in the group on bars. And so I have to, so I have to have a lot of other small stations, a lot of road climb, that kind of stuff. Um, do you know what the Forrester bar is? Yes. Yes? I was hoping that they would have sent some up. They were actually supposed to send them on my gym and ask them to pack them if they come in time. Present waiting for me. I taught a whole course of life in different places. We do the drill on the Pilates ball. We do uh, uh, we do a cast drop back. I mean, it's not on there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just She was to start a clear hip circle coming around the bottom. Okay, we would see that shape in it some place. So I really think kids need to understand what that shape is. So what I want you to do is just pick up a little bit. Doesn't even have to go to handstand and finish right like that. Just kick a little and back to that shape. Good. So she's understanding how to drop back. Good again. Really see where that comes in, okay? Um, just show that position sideways. What you're looking for at the end. So she has to come up and drop that in there just for a little kick. Right. So again, it's something. 